Guys, tonight we're up in the Ponderosa Pines, which means cooler weather, which calls for Texas chili for dinner tonight. All right, so you may be wondering what's the difference between Texas chili and maybe your mom's chili that she makes for you. Well, from what I understand, the difference is Texas chili has no beans. Now, there's other kinds of chilies. There's Cincinnati chili, which has noodles in it. And it's all right, but when I want chili, I want the classic Texas chili with no beans, or I want my mama's chili that has pinto beans in it. But tonight, I wanted to do something quick and simple with Texas chili because the leftovers are going to be used for something else later this week. So in my Texas chili, it just has diced onions, ground beef, Hunt's tomato sauce or any other kind of tomato sauce, and then a Texas chili blend seasoning that I've come up with. So let's get started. All right, so first we're gonna start by sauteing some white onion. So let's add a little bit of avocado oil. I'm gonna add about a quarter cup of um, diced onion. Caroline's not a huge fan of onion. Even if you can't really taste it in the recipe, if she finds it, she has something to say. Actually, let's add about half a cup. Also, I said this once and I will say it again. If you pre-dice onions before you go on your trip, make sure to double bag it. Otherwise, your whole fridge will smell like onion and even stuff will taste like onion. So double bag pre-sliced onions. All right, let's give it a stir. So what we're looking for is the onions to start to soften and turn translucent, and then we'll add in the ground beef after that. Those are kind of big chunks. Caroline's probably gonna have a hissy fit if she finds them. So I'm adding about a pound, maybe a little bit more than a pound of ground beef. You can use 80, 20, 9, 10, whatever percentage you prefer. Now we're gonna break it up and brown it and cook it all the way through and then we'll add the rest of our ingredients. Really good. We had to do a little backtracking. That is good otherwise. I always love when we cross from the Guadalupe's into the Sacramento's mm -hmm. and like just the, all of a sudden like just the difference in the trees <laughs> and vegetation. And We actually saw an elk. Yeah, we did. A cow. First wildlife we've seen really. Yeah. Besides turkey vultures and lizards. and Okay, so our meat is browned and broken into a bunch of little pieces. I've got a little bit of grease and fat still left in there. I don't mind, it, I feel like it flavors it. If it was a lot, like say I'd used a 20 I probably would have drained a little bit of it off. Um, but in this case, that's good. I like it in chili. All right, so now let's add the seasoning. So a lot of people usually add the tomato sauce and beans and everything else and then they add their seasoning. I prefer to season every layer and so I'm going to go ahead and add a quarter cup of my Texas chili um, spice to the meat and let it kind of season and um, flavor the meat and then we'll add in our tomato sauce. Look how pretty that is. So pretty. I did that lefty just for you. I appreciate that. You're welcome. It's a beautiful shot. Good. Oh, Look smell. how, yeah, the smell with the chili powder, paprika, garlic salt, salt, pepper. I'll put the recipe in the description below for my chili sauce or spice. In it. Oh man, that smells so good. It's really darkened and flavored the meat. And usually by doing it this way, you actually kind of wake up the spices because they're already been, they've already been dried. 
So by kind of putting a little heat to them like this, it really helps wake up the flavors. Let's turn it down a little bit. And now we need the 29 ounce can of tomato sauce. You can use Hunt's, you can use store brand, whichever, just so long as it's sauce. If you like chunky, that's fine. You can add tomato chunks. Caroline does not like tomatoes, but she will eat chili if there's no chunks and she will eat ketchup. So we're going chunkless. <laughs> And it's as easy as that. Now we just let it come to a simmer. And preferably, I like to let chili simmer for at least 20 minutes. If you're really hungry, give it at least five minutes. That just makes the flavor all the more better. Another thing you can do too, say your family likes it soupier rather than like chunky chili. Um, just add a little bit of beef broth or chicken broth to it to get to your soupy consistency. But otherwise, we're just gonna let it simmer now and then I'll taste it a little bit and see if I want to add more seasoning. I think I'll just leave it like that. I don't think we need chicken broth, do you? I like it. You like it like that? All right, the timer went off, so let's take a stir and take a taste. That was a little bit of a tongue twister. That was a little tongue twister. Look how pretty that is. Give it a stir. Get everything mixed back together. Got my tasting spoon. Let's see how we're doing season wise. Oh man. Yeah. I don't want to pull a Sam the cooking guy and burn my mouth. Right. I think we'll add just a little bit more seasoning. Let's do it. Yeah. We'll probably add just about a tablespoon more. Stir that in. We'll pop the lid back on. Set the timer for 10 more minutes. We've let the chili simmer for 20 minutes and now it is the perfect base and ready for whatever toppings you want to put on it. Let's bowl it up. It's talking to me. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and bowl up Caroline's and she likes basically a classic Cheeto or and she likes a basic Frito pie. So Fritos, chili, cheddar cheese, and sour cream. I want a simple taste. Oh, but really good taste. Oh, absolutely. You can't go wrong with that. First scoop. Then some classic shredded cheddar cheese. And lots of it, because girl likes her cheese. And the classic dollop <coughs> of sour cream. <laughs> Thanks, friend. You really worked out for us. And now for my bowl. I'm going with, whoops, cheddar cheese. Diced avocado, whoops. Please, no skin. Tiny dollop of sour cream. Some hot sauce, cause mama likes a hot. Oh, that looks so good. Cilantro. Oh man, what a masterpiece. Thank you. Now it's time for the taste test. Try and get a little bit of everything. Get some of that cilantro. Ooh, you see the cheese? Oh, man. 
Yeah, that looks so good. Mmm, so much chili powder, paprika, oh, and you get the hint of the cilantro. Mm. Mm. And the Tallulah hot sauce. Guys, this is such a good, basic, easy, super easy chili recipe. Now, you can put whatever you like on top. This is definitely a winner for camping or at home. Or anywhere. Or anywhere. Go make it. Now, my turn. Do we have Fritos? Yeah. I like Fritos too. Because I too am a man of simple tastes. Back this up a little bit. There we go. Starving so hard watching her cook this and not being able to eat it until later. Oh man. I have this cheese. Some avocado. Avocado? Is that how we say it? Oh, yes. Just a dollop of daisy. Maybe more than a dollop. I think this is the genius. This is the genius right here. My stomach is growling. Yeah. Mmm. That's almost too pretty to eat. Mmm. Mm. Mm. All right, let's get a bite of this going on. Some purists may say it's too many toppings. Is it even chili? I say it's just a pure party in my mouth. God, it smells so good. Wait till you taste it. Dude, that is divine. This might be your best batch yet. Okay, cilantro is gonna to have to be a, a regular addition to this. Yeah, chili powder and cilantro just go together. Mmm, mmm, mmm! I need, there it is. Cheers. Ah, so addicted.